I seem to be the only one who has caught this. I don't know how. Um, I haven't heard a single other person mention it. I, don't see, I haven't seen a single person uh, leave a comment about it. Um, anything else. <clears throat> I don't know how Race Day Quads hasn't refiled their lawsuit on, on these grounds alone. Welcome. I, I went back because I wanted to make sure I wasn't remembering wrong or hallucinating. <clears throat> so I finally found the link again that I had to the United States Courts of Appeal for the D.C. Circuit um, for the oral arguments for the race day quads case uh, versus the FAA. At one hour, because it's more than one case in the video because it's like all the ones I heard that day or whatever. <clears throat> but at one hour, 52 minutes and 50 seconds, we'll leave the little link there. The judge asks, it's the, the female judge, I forget her name. She asks if the FAA is storing remote ID da data and if they could look it up. So she says, you know, like, could, could the FAA right now go and, um, you know, see if, uh, you know, last Wednesday, judge, whatever her name is, was flying in this park um, at this time. And the lawyer responds, um, no, and that's why this is, you know, this doesn't apply to whatever. Um, and he says, and indeed, so far as I understand, has not contemplated the ability to store that data. So either, either that, that lawyer is, um, committing malpractice, he, he's, um, not actually aware of all of the circumstances regarding this case and these regulations, or he, it was a, um, blatant, bald face, outright, indisputable lie to a panel of federal judges because it says directly in the NPRM, we want to have this network remote ID capability and that will store your data. And then they can look it up and, and, and search it. Editor Tony's note. So I wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, nobody would just assume that I was talking directly out of my ass. So <clears throat> I looked up the NPRM and uh, in the second paragraph of the introduction and overview for the executive summary, full implementation of remote identification relies on three independent parts that are being developed concurrently. The first is this proposed rule, which establishes operating requirements for UAS operators and performance-based designation and production standards for producers of UAS. The second is a network of remote ID UAS service suppliers, remote ID USS, that would collect the identification and location in real time from in-flight UAS. The remote ID USS would perform this service under contract with the FAA based on the same model of the FAA currently uses for the low altitude authorization and notification compatibility or LANC, the third part of the remote identification ecosystem is the collection of technical requirements that standardize, standards setting organizations will develop to meet the performance based design and production requirements in the proposed rule. The FAA themselves in the MPRM said that we are going to have this network collection of real time in flight UAS data. So it's going to be stored. It's going to be on a network ecosystem and stored and available to uh, be looked up. I'm, I'm pretty sure that is a pretty fucking strong case right there. That combined with the reduction in actual safety for drone pilots certainly should be enough to counter the, the, the national security argument, which is a load of fucking shit. There's, there's a bunch of other flaws in the case, too, in my opinion, not being a lawyer. I, there, there's some really, sh like, they stretch the definition of things like airspace and air commerce and things like that to just, just shoehorn drones in there. You know, just stretch it as hard as they can to get all the drones in there, too. And I'm, I guarantee that there are challenges that can be brought to these. I'm going to be kind of going a little deeper into this. I wanted to make that video today, but my power went out last night and I forgot to save the notepad document that had all my notes in it. So unfortunately, that's gone. 
I'm going to be going back through and trying to rebuild my notes as best as I can and make a little more in-depth, longer video than that. But this one point to me seems, again, I'm not a lawyer, but it sure seems like enough to bring the case up again. And on that note, Bot Grinder mentioned, you know, like we should start some kind of a legal defense fund. And I couldn't agree more. And while I think that uh, people in the community that have more reach and uh, funding and everything else should probably be the ones doing it instead of just going, so who's going to do that? Since that's what they did, you know, well, uh, somebody should do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm not talking to you, Bot Grinder. Since that's what happened, and I haven't heard anybody else talk about it yet, let's do this. Now, again, I'm not a lawyer. I'm just some dude who, you know, helps elderly over the phone for a living and, you know, used to be in the Marines and I used to do computers and I fly drones. You know, like that, I'm just, I'm just some, some guy. I don't think I'm an idiot, but I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't know all the like legalities and, and all of that kind of stuff to starting a charitable organization, particularly one that is like a defense fund. So because of that, I need help to do this. I think it needs to happen, so I'm asking anyone and everyone that sees this to help out. If you're a lawyer, if you're a you know a, a, a tax attorney, you know like if you, you do anything like that, like you're your CPA, whatever the hell, then you can help. Hit me up, bigdatapimp at gmail.com or highspeedimagery at gmail.com. Either one of those will work. High speed imagery probably gets a little bit less spam, so I might get your message a little quicker, but. Shoot me that email. Let's get this started. We need to build a fund to not only defend people as they, they, they get charged with BS regulations violations, but we need to be attacking these regulations from every angle possible. The fact that Race Day Quads is the only group that has filed a legal challenge against remote ideas, astonishing to me. As somebody who, who, who likes guns and believes in the Second Amendment, I think that we need to be acting much more like Second Amendment advocates, and not only calling our congressmen regularly to get their minds changed, but we need to be attacking this so that the courts can make changes. Those are the only two possibilities at this point. The regulation is not going away. If remote ID goes away, it just becomes UTM. That's all it is. So we need to be fighting this, and that requires money. It requires lots of money. But this hobby, this community is big enough that if we all chip in a couple of bucks, there you go. Maybe, uh, maybe you know, stop paying on some of your Patreons, you know, a little for a couple of months. Pitch in there. If everybody comes together, if we actually make this happen as a community and attack this problem as a community, we have a chance. But it's not going to happen without taking legal action and getting our representatives to change the laws that push the regulation. So, I'm asking for your help. Let's get this done. Please contact me. Let's figure out how to get this done. I think it's gotta be like a 503C charitable organization or whatever. You know, we gotta have board members and all that shit to make it official. We need to make this happen. FPV, FC guys, um, you know, the flight test guys. You guys, some of you have to know about this. And if you're not already on this ball, you know, or on this train, then come jump on mine and let's get this done. Because I know I have a big fucking mouth and I've talked a lot of shit. And for as much as I've tried to get done, I, I haven't done enough in my own opinion. So I want to get this done. And if I can be a part of this, getting this ball rolling, even if that's just what happens is, is I'm the hub that gets all the people together to do it, great. But I can't do it by myself. So I need all of your guys' help. So hit me up. Let's uh, let's figure this out. I'm doing some research, you know, when I can. But <clears throat> let's uh, let's get it done. Let's let's try and save our hobby, because uh, nobody's gonna save it for us. We have to get it done. All right, guys. Thanks. Hopefully, I didn't ramble too long on such a basic topic. But go check out the link below. Tell me what your opinion is on this lawyer's response, and maybe we can get this challenge brought back up now that there's a little bit of light getting shed on. We need to focus. I don't know why like every lawyer that flies drones isn't focusing on this case and really just picking it apart. So go check it out. Let me know what you think and hit me up. Let's get this uh, RC Model Aviation Defense Fund going. All right, guys. Have a good one. Stay safe.